the alternate way to torque in an abutment screw using the handpiece from W and H and a long motor key. So this is inserted into here. It's very important to set the motor to the correct Newton centimeter rating that you need. So we're going to lower it to be 30 Newton centimeter. We have our abutment, MDMAC10, straight titanium abutment, which we're going to place. Note that the screw is there already. So we put the abutment in the correct direction. Attach the screw to the end of the driver. You'll notice that it remains in place. Screw goes inside and begin the motor. The motor will turn very slowly and very slowly insert the screw. When it reaches the 30 newton centimeter torque that we've established, it will beep and shut off so that you do not over torque the screw. It turns very slowly. I can feel it, but so you feel that it has stopped. It's no longer needed to tighten. You can remove it. If you would attempt to insert it more, once again, it will beep and tell you that it's at the correct torque. Remove the driver, and you're finished. So the importance of using a torque control device, whether it be a handpiece or a torque wrench, is twofold. First, you do not want to leave the screw too loose, which could result in the abutment loosening itself and coming out of the patient's mouth. Also, you do not want to over tighten it, which could damage the screw or the abutment or possibly the implant, which could lead to further problems.